But it's amazing how in our lives, particularly as black men, everywhere we go, somebody gives us a name, a title, a label, a stereotype. Everywhere you go, someone has conceived who you are before you even open up your mouth. I really don't have no family. I'm out here by myself. Take a look around you. These are your brothers. We're going to be spending the next several weeks together. And there has to be trust. I love this. It's a powerful project with a powerful message. The Through My Lens Youth Art Film Project is aimed at exposing young people to careers in front of and behind the camera, something I know these kids are getting super excited about. Joining me now, we have actor Tommy Ford. Hello. Welcome, how are you? Oh, wonderful. We Thank also you. have Hank Stewart, co-host for the Scholarship Fair, and Dr. Ralph Simpson, Region 5 Superintendent for DeKalb County Schools. Gentlemen, <laughs> you so woman. good this uh, afternoon, how are you? you? <laughs> so tell me about this project, because this is so cool. I know the kids have gotta be going nuts over it this. It is an amazing project. Through my lens, was, you know, it was first founded by an amazing woman by the name of um, Michelle Spencer Jones. And she did this first in Miami with Robert Townsend. And she came here, and it's an amazing project. It does three things, it's a movie, um, so Nina Holiday and is doing a movie and, and we're doing a documentary, but it's a documentary on bullying, specifically for African American men. So here's what we're doing. We have 25 young men between the ages of 15 and 25, and we're gonna spend 12, 12 weeks working on these young men, young men who either have been bullied or are bullying, and we figure this, change my lens. Through my lens, we can change their life by changing their exposure. That's what our lens does, their focus, their vision. So throughout the next 12, 12 weeks, we'll be having together, learning the definition of manhood, mentoring, and media, and in the hopes of changing and empowering their lives. And, and they're really helping put this project together. I mean, they're learning all the behind the scenes stuff too Absolutely. of how this works. He's also partnered with um, Clark Atlanta. So they're filming a mass department are teaching them how to work behind the camera. With all the films and work that are going on in the entertainment industry now, they will then be equipped with a certificate that says we're qualified to enter in an entry level and get a job. Very cool. Yes. So yeah, and kids can still apply, right? There's still some spots. Well, there, are, there are very few spots, but okay. we what we have done is we we we, we chose these 25. We said we need young people, yeah. so we we called Doc. Mm -hmm. So yeah. okay, we got to go to McNair High School, and we go and we have met some amazing, amazing young folk. Because first call I made was Hank Stewart. This yeah. dude is amazing, and what he does for the community is absolutely fabulous. So you. This man here, those young people have him to thank because he's the one who brought in Dr. Ralph and we've been able to empower these babies. Uh, awesome. And Dr. Ralph, what kind of reaction are you getting from these kids? Oh, just ecstatic and excited. It's an opportunity in this exposure. And, and the research says, you know, the, the amount of how often we expose children to opportunities, mm -hmm. it increases the likelihood of them being successful. Mm -hmm. But Tommy hit on something that's important. Hank. Mm -hmm. Hank is the conduit. He's the <laughs> conduit from Tommy and the relationship that we have with him and how deeply rooted he is in the community and providing those resources and most important, the relationship. Yeah. Because Tommy makes the call when he sees it because of his big heart, huge heart mm -hmm. that he has for children, mm -hmm. calls Hank. Hank knows he has the relationship with me and the connection. That's the conduit to the schools, to the children, and that's how we got to what we have right here. Yeah. And this is so cool. So tell me how it's going so far. The project has started. It's amazing, and uh, Tommy said, and I want to just thank you all, CBS, for allowing us to talk about this, but these two gentlemen have done an amazing job, and we're also teaching our kids to write. Yes. And so they're going to document their journey. And so we're really, really excited. So every Monday we have a writing pro uh, process that the students are going through. I'm a poet. Uh, by nature. Emmy so, winning you know, poet. He's yeah. not just a poet. Yeah. He's an <laughs> Emmy winning poet. So, uh, so we're going to teach our young people to document this journey. And so we're really, really excited about that. At the end of this 12 week program, not only will they have a certificate that says they can work, they'll have a business plan. Mm -hmm. So they'll start their own business. They'll have a uh, They'll be, they'll be able to, to, to take their emotions, their pains and their fears and put them in their writing so they would have written their own poetry of books. So it's an amazing process that we're going to take these young boys from boys to men. In 12 weeks. In 12, 12 weeks. This is so incredible. And on Tuesday, you guys have an event coming up. Tell me yeah. about that. Infinite Scholars. Yeah. This is round two. <laughs> round two. <laughs> round two. We did this last year, not in the 365 days ago, but uh, back November. in our, November. 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 Uh -huh. November. Infinite Scholars. This is the difference between a scholarship fair and a scholarship what we're offering in terms of 
money on the spot. That's right. Uh, wow. So this is not just a college fair. This is a scholarship fair where mm -hmm. scholarship opportunities from one year to four years will be offered to students on the spot. To date, what? we have over 31, 31 colleges college. that have confirmed that will be there. Last November, we gave over $5, five million dollars worth of scholarships in one evening. Mm -hmm. Correct. And next Can I go? Come on, there's room. Oh my goodness, right great. And while we're hosting it in the cab at McNair High School, that's right. okay. um, it is available to any and all that's seniors, graduating seniors, obviously, um, there to bring all of the necessary materials, resumes, transcripts, yes. and be able to have a conversation with a college or university about why I want to attend this particular school. That's right. So it's going to be them and the way in which they articulate and sell themselves right. to this university that's going to determine the amount of money that they receive. Hello, <laughs> and we encourage your parents to come as well. This is a, indeed a community operation and an event for everybody involved. I love all of this. Guys, I can talk to you all afternoon, but we've got to go. Okay, no, no, we, got time. we don't have to go. Y'all have time to listen to us, don't you? <laughs> I want to let everyone know how they can be involved because they need to go on Tuesday to learn more. First, about the Through My Lens Youth Film Art Project, all you have to do is check out TommyGotAJob.com. <laughs>